Hello, please follow me on my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Okay, this video, we will talk about the history of measurement and how to measure a given length. So, for the history, ancient Egyptians used units of measurement based on body parts such as the cubit and the half cubit. So, when we said cubit, it is the length of the forearm from the elbow to the tip of the middle finger. So, yun lamang yung ginagamit ng mga ancient Egyptians noon kung paano magsukat ng haba ng isang bagay. That the inch and foot, the units for length of the English system of measurement are believed to be based on the cubit. The metric system of measurement became the dominant system in the 1900s and is now used by most of the countries with a few exceptions, the biggest exception being the United States of America. So, in these given figures, ito yung mga ginagamit noon, noong unang panahon, sa pagsusukat ng haba ng isang bagay. So, ito yung tinatawag nating cubit simula sa siko hanggang sa dulo ng daliri. And then, this is for the foot. And then, this is for step. And this is for the hand span. So, ibig sabihin noon, walang fixed na sukat ang isang bagay. Dahil, since ang ginagamit nila ay ang body parts lamang sa pagsusukat, ibig sabihin merong mahaba or merong maikling sukat dahil hindi lahat naman ay magkakatulad ng haba ng paa or ng haba ng simula sa siko hanggang sa dulo ng daliri. Pero dahil nga wala silang naibento, naimbento noon ng mga tools for the measurement, so body parts ang kanilang ginagamit. So let us now proceed on the measurement of length. Length is the distance from one end to the other of the longest side of an object. Meter is the fundamental unit of length in the metric system. So, here is the conversion of metric system of measure. So, we have the given units from millimeter to kilometer, and these are the symbols and the equivalents in another given um, measure, which is the meter. So, paano nga ba tayo mag-convert ng length? So, simulan natin sa KM or ito yung tinatawag nating number line for the metric system. Simula sa KM, papunta sa MM. So, when we said KM, that is the kilometer followed by HM, which is the hectometer, decameter, meter. Again, meter is the middle measurement or the fundamental unit of length. DM is the decimeter, CM is centimeter, and the last or the shortest length is the millimeter. So, paano nga ba tayo magkoconvert ng isang measure sa isa pang given measure? So, dito, we will just move the points or the decimal point. It's either going to the left or going to the right. So, we have the first example, convert the following. Number 1, 4.8 kilometer is how many in HM. Again, ang HM is yung hectometer. So, para malaman natin kung ano ba ang katumbas ng 4.8 km sa hectometer, we will use this metric system of measure. So, ang gagawin natin is to copy or rewrite o ulitin natin yung sulat ng 4.8. And then, again, imumove lang natin yung decimal point. Simula sa KM papunta sa HM. So, since ang KM ay nandito sa kaliwa o dulong kaliwa, so magmumove tayo ng isang point papunta sa HM. Therefore, imumove natin yung point na ito going to the right in one move. Since nagkanan tayo dito ng isang beses. Okay, since nagmove tayo o minove natin yung point dito, therefore, the value of 4.8 km in hectometer is 48. Because when we move this point, this will be 48. And that is the conversion of KM to HM. 
Okay, let's have additional examples. 28.3 cm is how many in decameter? So again, gamitin natin yung metric system of measure. Kopyahin natin yung given number which is 28.3. So yung point na ito ay imumove natin. Papunta saan? At ilang beses? So since ang given ay centimeter, so kailangan daw natin i-convert ang centimeter sa decameter. So pupunta tayo sa pakaliwa. Ilang beses? 1, 2, 3. So, since tatlong beses tayong nag-move pakaliwa dito sa ating metric system, so, i-move natin ang point na ito going to the left in 3 units. 1, 2, 3. And then, since wala kayo nakikitang number dito, kapag may space dito, palagi lang po natin yung lalagyan ng 0. And then, yung point na minove natin going to, to the left ay mapupunta na dito sa kaliwa. Therefore, the answer for the 28.3 cm that is equivalent of 0.0283 decameter. Again, palagi po tayo, ito yung nakuha natin point kanina. And then, palagi tayo maglalagay ng 0 bago ang point. So, that is the final answer. Additional example, 1021 hectometer is how many in meter? So, let us use this conversion. So, rewrite 1021 from HM to M. So, pupunta tayo sa kanan. So, maglagay tayo ng point dito dahil lahat po ng whole number ay may decimal point sa dulo sa kanan. Para malaman natin kung nasan ba yung point, so palagi po siya nasa dulo ng kanan. So, simula sa M, going to the right, 1, 2. So, imuba natin ang point na ito in 2 units. So, again, merong mga uh, spaces. So, lagyan natin yan ng dalawang zero. Therefore, the final answer is 102,100. Next is conversion of English system of measure. So, kung kanina metric system, dito naman ay English system. So, kanina sa metric system, ang ginawa lang natin ay nag-move tayo ng mga points. Kailangan memorize nyo yung pagkakasunod-sunod ng given measures. So, dito naman sa English system, dito na natin i-apply yung multiplication and division. So, we have the given in inches, 12 inches is equivalent to 1 foot. In feet, 3 feet is equivalent to 1 yard. In yard, 1,760 yards is equivalent to 1 mile. And for the miles, or represented as the acronym of MI, 5,280 feet is equal to 1 mile also. 1 foot, 1 yard, o isang yarda, 1 mile yung milya. So, gagamitin natin ang mga equivalents na ito for us to find or calculate the English system of measure. So, let's now have the example. Convert the following number 1. 36 inches is how many in feet? So, kailangan meron tayong kopya ng uh, format natin kanina or ng equivalence. So, i-rewrite natin yung given natin na 36 inches or 36 in. So, ito po yung acronym ng inches. Hindi natin siya nilalagyan ng S, okay? So, 36 inches. Paano ba natin yun may convert sa feet? So, let's have the line. Ang 36 na given ay gawin natin numerator. And then, lahat po ng whole number ay may denominator na 1. Next is to apply the process of multiplication. So, kailangan meron tayong uh, guide. So, ito yung formula natin kanina. So, again, inches to feet. Hanapin natin, alin ba dito yung pares na may nakalagay na inches at feet? Or inches at foot. Okay, iyon yung kaunahang formula. 12 inches is equivalent to 1 foot. Okay, so ito yung gagamitin natin conversion dito sa ating solution. So, paano ba natin yung gagawin? Ang goal natin dito ay makuha ang feet at makancel ang inches. So, para makancel natin ang inches na ito sa numerator, kailangan nasa denominator naman ng pangalawang fraction yung word or yung acronym na inches para makancel natin yung word na inches. So, maglagay tayo ng line. Ilagay natin sa denominator yung salitang inches 
or ang ginamit natin formula ay 12 inches, so isulat natin 12 inches. And then, ano yung ilalagay natin sa numerator? E yun yung kapartner niya sa formula na ito, which is yung 1 foot. So, isulat natin sa numerator 1 foot or 1 FT. Next, pwede na natin i-cancel yung, uh, yung unit na inches para matira na lang yung feet dahil, dahil iyon yung hinahanap natin. So, let us uh, cancel the inches unit. Next is to apply the process of multiplication. So, let us now multiply. 36 times 1 foot is equal to 36 feet. Over 1 times 12 is 12. Next, after nating magmultiply, proceed na tayo sa division since naka-fraction ang dalawang number. So, 36 foot, uh, sorry, 36 feet divided by 12 is equal to 3 feet. Therefore, 36 inches is equal to 3 feet. Second example, 6 yards is equal to how many in feet? Again, isulat natin yung 6 yards or 6YD over 1. Palagi pong 1 ang denominator ng mga whole numbers. Next is to multiply. Gamitin natin yung formula natin kanina. So, ang hahanapin natin ay feet, uh, feet at ang given ay yards. So, alin sa apat na pares na ito ang gagamitin natin para mahanap natin yung equivalent ng 6 yards sa feet. Tama! Iyon yung pangalawang conversion. 3 feet is equal to 1 yard. So, gamitin natin ang pares na ito sa ating solution. Again, kailangan natin makancel ang yard dito. So, ilalagay natin ang yard naman ng pangalawang fraction sa denominator. Kaya magiging 1 yard. Dahil 1 ang kasama ng salitang yard dun sa napili natin. Um, formula. Next, ano yung ilalagay natin sa numerator? Iyon yung 3 feet. Ayan. So, pwede na natin i-cancel yung unit na yards. Next is to proceed in multiplication. 6 times 3 feet is 18 feet over 1 times 1 is 1. So, let us now divide. 18 feet divided by 1 is 18 feet. Therefore, 6 yards is equal to 18 feet. Third example, 72 inches is how many in yards? Isulat natin yung given na 72 inches over 1 times, tingnan natin yung given formula. So again, inches papunta sa yard. Inches papunta sa yard. So wala tayong nakikitang inches equals to yard. So ibig sabihin, dalawa yung gagamitin natin formula. Una, i-convert natin yung given na inches sa foot or sa feet. And then, after natin makuha yung equivalent niya sa feet, saka naman natin gagamitin yung given na, yung nakuha nating feet para makuha natin yung equivalent niya sa yard. So, ang gagawin natin, convert yung inches sa feet and then feet to yard. Kasi iyon yung hinahanap. So, gamitin muna natin yung 12 inches equals to 1 foot. Again, kailangan makancel yung inches. So, ilagay natin sa denominator ang 12 inches. Sa numerator naman ang 1 foot. Next is to cancel the unit of inches. Next is to multiply. 72, uh, sorry, sorry, to multiply. So, gamitin naman natin yung foot at yard. So, dito naman ang goal natin ay makancel yung feet. So, dito natin ilalagay sa denominator yung unit na feet. Okay. So, 3 feet. The numerator, ah, uh, sorry, the, tama. The numerator is 1 yard. So, i-cancel na natin yung feet at yung feet ng denominator. Next, i-multiply na natin yung mga natira sa numerator at denominator. So, 72 times 1 times 1 yard equals 72 yards. On the denominator, 1 times 12 times 3. So, isimplify natin ang numerator, ang denominator na ito. So, 12 times 3 is 36. Therefore, 72 divided by 36 is 2 yards. Ibig sabihin, ang 72 inches ay katumbas ng 2 yards. Okay, i-apply na natin ang natutunan natin sa converting measure of length 
in a given word problem. So we have the given first problem. Gemma bought a 60 centimeter ribbon to decorate her curtain, but she needs to convert it in meters. How long is it in meters? So let us write the given number, which is 60. Again, lahat po ng whole number ay may decimal point sa dulo sa kanan. Next is to use the metric system of measure dahil kailangan nating i-convert ang centimeter sa meter. So, simula sa centimeter, papunta sa meter. So, pupunta tayo sa kanan in one, two, or two moves. Okay. So, ang point na ito ay kailangan nating i-move sa, kal uh, sa kaliwa in two moves. One, two. So, mapupunta na sa kaliwa ng six ang point. Therefore, the final answer or 60 centimeters in meters is 0 0.60. Another example for the word problem, Carl bought 240 feet of fabric to make curtains for the auditorium walls. What is its equivalent to, to yards? So, kopyahin natin yung given which is 240 feet. So, gagamitin natin dito ang English system of measure over 1 times, kopyahin natin or tingnan natin yung ating formula. So, again, hahanapin natin ang yard which is ang given ay feet. So, feet, yard. Gagamitin natin yung pangalawang pares or pangalawang formula. 3 feet is equal to 1 yard. So, again, ikakancel natin yung feet dito para mahanap natin yung yards. So, therefore, ilalagay natin sa denominator ang 3 feet at sa numerator naman ang 1 yard. So, let us now cancel the unit of feet and then multiply 240 times 1 yard is 240 yards over 1 times 3 is 3. So, let us now divide 240 yards divided by 3 is equal to 80 yards. Therefore, 240 feet is equal to 80 yards. Okay, so let us now summarize. In metric conversion, you just have to move the decimal points or decimal places, but be sure that you know the correct sequence of each unit. Again, so measure of length, the longest Length is the kilometer, followed by the hectometer, next is decometer, meter, which is the fundamental unit of length, followed by the decimeter, centimeter, and the shortest length is the millimeter. In English conversion, you have to determine the equivalent of every unit to the other unit, then use the multiplication and division operations. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo tungkol sa measurement at sa measuring length. Thank you for watching. If you have questions or suggestions, feel free to comment below. Enjoy learning mathematics. God bless us all!